Yeah. Bowler. But first, Janine Butcher's been in prison, Corey Tracy's been there, even Barlow, Deirdre, has, like, served a little bit of time in the old chokey. In fact, it's, it, well, it's even possible to name iconic soap stars without spending time in prison, right? Uh, after last night's Emmerdale, Dan Spencer might not need to worry about that because with Lloyd, Lloyd's life hanging in the balance, Dan could soon find himself behind bars for a very long time. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to like and share. Wow, keep them coming, well worth the 30 quid. Look, Dad, I know you don't get it, but you're just going to have to start trusting me. I don't trust you. It's other people, what about them? You're even prettier in person. I follow your profile. I'm a top subscriber. You're your number one fan. He knows where you live now. No, he must have followed us from Salon. He came round to see you. Put a letter through the door. Make sure you contact us if he contacts you again. So that's it, is it? What do I have to say to make you understand, eh? And you need to step back. Me and her are going to be seeing a little bit more of each other. And there's nothing you can do about it. I did it, it was me. I'm going to need you to come down the station with us. Oh, Unbelievable. Well, Join my Liam Foxy place, Dan, now. Good to have mm. you with us, buddy. Pleasure. It's a huge story like this, isn't it? It's massive. Yeah, uh, they told me about it in January, and I was just basically knocked out by it. Um, amazing. They, they promised me an amazing storyline, and it, it's better than I could have dreamed of. It's just been incredible and such an important story as well. Right, because you've got elements of stalking in there, I suppose, as well. Yeah. And then, I mean, I never forget, I watched a documentary about the, the One Punch Kills, like, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And just how they shatter every single person's life yeah. around, you know? So, I mean, that's... Obviously, we want to get on to the lighter stuff, but that is, it's, a, it's a hugely important storyline that yeah. soaps do so well in addressing, don't they? Yeah, of course it is. It's, it's sadness all around, isn't it? Because, I mean, research-wise, I kind of didn't want to go and find people yeah. who'd been through it. That felt like it was, I don't know, it was wrong. Yeah. So I watched a lot of videos, really, and YouTube yeah. and stuff of families, and it was just generally that, that sadness on all sides. Yeah. You know, because you don't mean to do it. You can just lash out for that second. And your life and everybody's lives have changed for, forever. It's yeah. just... So, um, a little spoiler. I, mean, I don't know if we were allowed to give this spoiler, but Ooh. he does get arrested, doesn't he, for yeah. GBH? Yeah. Uh, how have you found doing this role? Because no, normally you're, you're quite a, a, a nice character. No, nothing like this normally happens to I Dan. think that's why they gave me it. Because he was the one character you'd never you'd expect never to dream. do it. A cane might do it or anybody else, but, but Dan would never do it. So that, that, I think that was the whole point. Give it to the nice guy, the daft guy, and it's so unlikely. Um, it's funny that, because that was part of that do the documentary I watched, like I said, was, I think it was on BBC Three or something a couple of years ago. It was all people who this has happened to, who would never normally punch someone and they were either and provoked they or they stepped in to help a friend. Yeah. And it wasn't like a frenzied attack or anything. It happened once, just and then once. that was it, which is why I think it's so, 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 so important. I think with the actual punch they gave, the director said, it, well, I don't want to swing, I don't want nothing, I want just a, an instinctive quick punch yeah. and, it, and he's gone, because it's just, it's just in the moment. It's yeah. unbelievable. And we've yeah. got to talk about, that. obviously, the one punch can kill. Police forces across the country are doing campaigns, and it's lovely that you're actually shining this light on that campaign. I suppose it's like, if this storyline stops one person from reacting, yeah. it's one life saved, I think it'll do a lot more than that. I think it truly will make a difference. You know, somebody's in a pub, someone else says the wrong word in their ear, and they might think mm. and go, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to leave it. And, and that makes a difference. It's, it's the manly thing to do. It's the right thing to do to walk away, isn't yeah. it, sometimes? Yeah, 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 I know yeah. it feels horrible, but really and truly, to, for someone else, for you to punch someone, that means that other person is controlling you, really. So to walk away is actually harder to do, isn't it? My dad used to say to me as a kid, don't get involved in fights, because if you win, you'll lose. Yeah. And that's always stuck in my head. Wow, yeah, really. that's a good one. We've got a little preview of tonight's episode, I think, haven't we? Well, let's take, let's take a look. A Thanks for everything you did the other day. You shouldn't have had to be involved. Yeah, of course. No worries, I... Uh... Listen, I better... He could barely look at me. That's just Jacob. Keep thinking I should call the hospital. No, Dad. Stay away from the phone. Look, that voicemail you sent was bad enough. We don't need to make anything worse. Look... Dad, I think the best thing for you is to try to get yourself back into work. Try not drive yourself mad dwelling on stuff. People are never going to look at me the same way again. Oh. 
you know you play that so well because you, you had that pit in your stomach, what have I done feeling that I watched there yeah. since I saw it. You... And it's the guilt, isn't it? Yeah. He still he feels so guilty afterwards. All through it, yeah. He's, he's, it's been real emotional doing the whole story. Even my wife at home, she couldn't watch it the day. She can't watch it. I'm in tears. I can't stand see, oh, seeing Dan's yeah. face. I said, it's Dan's face. That's not really me. You know. Uh, not... Talking of your wife, she, you actually yeah. met your wife on Emmerdale, didn't you? Well, no. Well, I met, well, she worked with us again, but we met originally at Salford Uni in 93. I thought I was dating her. I wasn't. <laughs> she told me we're actually mates. <laughs> so, uh, we're just friends. I put that right 25 what years ago. Are you married or are you? We're married now. Oh, yeah, three <laughs> Did years she married. Turn around and say, we're not married. <laughs> well, can you imagine that? Yeah. I'll probably get a text when I get off. <laughs> I can't believe that he was only supposed to do six ap episodes on Emmerdale. Yeah. Yeah. Now look at you 12 years in. It's, it's mad, isn't it? Really. And that's all down to the, to the cast. They were there, the original family, the Spencers, Kelly Holly, Alicia Rio. Just the first day on set, they were so brittle. I just, we just loved each other straight away. And it was just like dead easy. So when did, you, when did you find out? Like after, the, after your six episodes? Did say, I did the six. I went off and did a casualty and they saw the BBC thing and then came back and they said, oh, you're, you're a regular about three months later. That's so it lovely. Like, yeah. It's but nice, it's every actor's nice. dream, isn't it? That's what actors dream of, isn't it, when you go in? Yeah, a bit of stability and a nice character. Was just, yeah. just, when I saw the character on the page, I thought, I could have some fun with him. But how you, been never, you were in Emmerdale like, back in the day when you were a kid, weren't you? For how, oh, like... yeah. I did different cop roles and stuff, yeah. You how, many time, how many times? A few you get... times. Oh, four, five, I think. Different, different... different coppers. <laughs> yeah, always different names, one. yeah. We, we, we dug out one. Of course we but... did. <laughs> No way. So, would you happen to notice Mr Mullen's car leaving the village? No. And you didn't see him come back? No. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, I don't spend my life casing their property. Did you go out at all that day, sir? Yeah. I went to the pub with Alan. Right. Well, thank you, both of you. You've been very helpful. So young. Uh, yeah. so Where did it all go wrong? He's so guilty, <laughs> that guy. You can tell, couldn't you? So, so good. Years ago, yeah, amazing. crazy. Unbelievable. So we uh, did the coronation. We did the, the coronation show up in Coronation Street. It was amazing. It was yeah. such, such a lovely thing. What's the Emmerdale? I've been to the Emmerdale set once, but I don't know. Is it ever moved to the Emmerdale set? It used to oh, be... uh, twenty odd years ago was when they built the purpose-built set on the, the Harewood Estate. Because it used to be. It little... was the Nesholts. Yeah, it was a proper village at one time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, and that, that's when they built it. So yeah, we're doing our tours now. I think it's the, I think the weekend tours. But um, yeah, what a lovely place to work. It's, it is ridiculous. It's beautiful. Actually. I've been there. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Well, listen, Emma Dale continues tonight, seven thirty on ITV One and ITV X. We're very excited to see what happens to him. Ooh. I hope he doesn't go to prison. But oh, obviously, he's done something quite bad. So we mm. don't know. Nice to see you. Uh, it's yeah. time to find out. What